In this lesson we're going to be learning how to make combo rocks. We'll be using cup rocks that we've made out of a ragacrete. This is a very easy rock to make and it leaves a nice hole in the middle of it, the depression to put the corals in. And we'll be covering some of the corals with bridal veil netting and other corals we'll put on with rubber bands and then we'll put them in the raceways and let them finish growing. Most of the corals that we'll be using for this lesson are Recordia and Fancy Zoanthids. We have some green stars from a local tank that are very, very beautiful and grow fast. So we'll put those with some of the combos. This tank is a wave making unit and it brings a real fast chaotic cor uh, current down here in just a few seconds you'll see it and the netting keeps the coral cuttings from washing away and it, where the coral farms in public it also keeps people from touching the corals to see if they're attached and it looks like the wave is just about ready to come down. We'll watch it for a minute. The wave maker is up on the wall. This is a great chaotic current and that's exactly what you want for growing corals. We'll be watching these rocks during the semester, see how they do for uh, the coral farming. These are some of the combo rocks that we are making here at the farm. You can see that these corals have been put on with bridal veil netting. The bridal veil netting is from the fabric store and we hold it on with rubber bands. And it's a great way to uh, mount corals that are loose so that they can't fly away and they can be held down against the rock and the best corals for this are mushrooms and zinnias. They're both very hard to attach but they do well under the bridal veil netting. Harder corals are put to the rock with the rubber bands and they are allowed to grow down onto the rock and this is a good way if you're doing a lot of them and you need to do them fast and you have a bit of time and these corals it's now the beginning of summer and these will be ready for sale to the fall so we'll have them ready for the holidays. These combo rocks are placed in among the other corals and clams so that they can sit until they're completely ready to go. It'll be fun to watch these and a lot of these will be used as brood stock before the end of the summer. We'll be recutting these and making several more of each. If you have any questions about coral farming, you're sure welcome to call us here at GARF and we can answer any questions and maybe help you start your project and I think you'll enjoy it 
and it certainly is good for the hobby to grow our own.